There they are. Pakistan first up. A slight change in the batting order there. Inzamam Al Haq being uh, sent in at number one with Sajid Ali, and uh, no other real changes there. Suffice to say that uh, Shahid Afridi is uh, way down the order, and then come the bowlers. From uh, the Zimbabwe point of view, again a little bit of a shuffle with uh, the batting order, but uh, other than that, it's pretty well the same team. Well, that's an excellent shot. Good way to get off the mark. Beautifully timed shot. He, as I said, he looks a very confident player. On bold him. So Matambanazo has once again got the early breakthrough for uh, Zimbabwe. There it is again, and that one is a beautiful delivery. Sajid Ali playing all over it. That one nipped in a bit and disturbed his middle and off. And Sajid Ali is on his way for four. And there's the outswing on this occasion from Matambanazo. Once again, Pakistan score moving along via a boundary. He's a good player of the pull shot. That one just bouncing once before it cleared the rope. In the air and taken at backward square leg. So Edo Brandes is struck. In the back of Ejaz. There is his dismissal, trying to whip it away on the onside, in the air, and a fairly straightforward regulation catch for Andy Whittle. Big shout, and uh, Salim Malik is gone. So Edo Brand is having a very good over here. Edo Brandes has done the trick again. There's Malik just trying to work him away on the on off offside. The edge and Andy Flower knew that he had sent Salim Malik on his way to the pavilion for a duck. Play away on the offside. Uh, will this be close? And yes, he's got him. What a good bit of fielding that was. The Zimbabweans have got it together here today. And uh, it's runouts like this that can end up winning matches for teams like the Zimbabweans. They're fantastic in the field, full of enthusiasm, and this is a good example. Nothing seems to be going right for the Pakistanis. That's in Zimbabwe. Just dabbing it and taking off. But just to see that hesitation. And he's ambling when he streaks through, hitting direct and in Zimbabwe way out of the crease. Bit of width, he's gone for it and he's out. Paul Strang takes the catch and Matamanatsu strikes again. Is a picture of disconsolation. And that was wide outside the off stump. Probably had he left that alone, he might it might have been called a wide. A beautiful catch picked up by Little Strang. And Pakistan are 41 for the loss of five wickets. Akram gone for a single. That must be close, he's given him. Had to be. And Heath Streak has struck once more. A prolific wicket taker here. And that one kept just a bit low on Wasim, but he was plumb in front. He's got that away. And that's racing through. He's timed that very well indeed. First boundary for Afridi, first boundary for some time. Heath Streak. Well done, through him again, and here's the result. Beautiful delivery, Afridi playing all over it, and that's a wicked maiden for Heath Streak. Shahid Afridi out, bowled by Streak for five. And this time succeeding, very fine uh, sweep by Moen Khan. And uh, seeing a boundary and a relief. Short delivery and uh, pulled away nicely. That'll go to the fences as well. So the run is beginning to come now. Everyone absolutely vital. Well, he's really come down there. The first time he's used his feet and uh, followed through. And there's four for Moen. The yeah, strength saw him coming. Dropped it short, but... Two more for Moen. And there's the 100 up in the 42nd over. At one stage, it looked uh, an improbable score. That's gone miles in the air, over the top, and that's six.
That's in the air. It'll just clear the fieldsman. Oh, no, it hasn't. That's a brilliant catch. Beautifully done. Again, whacked away in that direction. This one will go for four. Well, this is turning out to be a fantastic innings. 137 for eight. That's in the air, and this one's going to be caught. Well, it should be caught. It's out. Way down the ground. That looks like Andy Whittle down there. He came around and uh, caught it no trouble at all. So that's the end of a very useful contribution. If Pakistan win this match today, well, I suspect that the man in your picture now will end up being the man of the match. He's uh, certainly saved the day. So what a performance that was. At one stage, uh, 51 for seven before uh, we had that tremendous partnership between Mohan Khan and Saklain Mushtaq down at the bottom there. 61 of 97 balls to, to Mohan Khan and Saklain really keeping him company for a long time. Took him a while to get off the mark and uh, even Mushtaq and Waka chipping in. So they've given themselves something to bowl for. 151 for nine of their 50 overs. Well, that's nicely placed. He's got that one away on the off side nicely. They're coming back for the second. Well done, well done, well done, boys. Come on. So the Zimbabweans off the mark. Oh, a ball. Beautifully bowled. Right up in the block hole. Pakistan have struck. Well, you won't see many better swinging Yorkers in this one. Basically, he's made the ball go away. That one, I think, came back in a little bit. It beat the defences of Wishart. Have another look at it. Absolutely beautiful delivery. That's the Waqar Yunus' speciality. And he has sent Wishart back to the pavilion. Look at this view. What a lovely view this is. For Waqar Yunus, that is. I don't think Wishart would like to have a look at this replay. Zimbabwe, five for one. That's what played too. He's got onto that one just outside off stump. It's into the gap and it's gone all the way to the fence for four. Lovely shot. Andy Flower playing a flowing cover drive. In the air and a big appeal there. Yes, he's got him. He can't believe it. This is a very important wicket and I can tell you that Grant Flower stands there, glares down the wicket at the umpire. And I, I must say, if he doesn't feel he hit it, I, I don't think it was uh, so much a nasty action. It was uh, it was real disappointment. See if you can pick this. He'll really slow this down. Just watch his bat hit the inside of his leg. Question is, did it hit the ball? Now, there's the ball. You see, I don't think his bat was anywhere near the ball. But uh, that's the end of Grant Flower, 14 for two. A nice touch. Salim Malik, the fielder, and he just gets a boot on it. Gotcha. And this time he clears Saklain. And that's good attacking cricket. Gotcha. Strang's gone over the top and successful this time. And over the rope it goes, four more. And Zimbabwe now launching a bit of an attack here and looking good. Down the wicket, couple of steps over the top it goes. Way over the top. Oh, yeah. Wow, out of nowhere. Sucklin gets one. It looked like it might have gone through the gate. And that's the end of Paul Strang for 26. Just when he looked well set, Pakistan have counted. There it is, tossed up and through the gate, uh, completely beaten there, Saklan on the forward stroke. The death rattle behind him, and Paul Strang is on his way. Bowled by Saklan Mushtaq for 26 of 35 deliveries, Zimbabwe 57 for three. And there he struck again. That one came on with the arm, and that's Alistair Campbell out.
for a duck and Saklain has done the trick here for Pakistan and that is joy in the Pakistan camp there you can see a lot of crescent and green the Pakistan flag their supporters that is a very important wicket Alistair Campbell going back and he's completely deceived baffled and bowled so the Zimbabwe captain is on his way bowled by Saklan Mushtaq without scoring and Zimbabwe now looking down the barrel at 57 for four Wow, that was a dangerous shot and has he got him yes he's given Cyril Midgley gives him out what a tremendous job by Moin let's have a look at that again the edge there and look at Moin Khan diving full length and scooping that ball up and umpire uh, Michley after some thought and after some pleas from Moin Khan signaling Guy Whittle to the pavilion he's on his way caught Moin bowl Mushtaq without disturbing the scorers and Zimbabwe now really reeling at 58 for five <laughs> well he's bowling he's bowling around his legs now that one did spin a long way and uh, he must have got a long way across really to leave his leg stump exposed from uh, a, round, uh, a right arm round the wicket bowler oh, what's a what a blow this is oh, have another look at this this spun a long way and clipped the leg stump just watch how far he gets across pitching way outside off step and hitting just the leg stump and i'm sure flower can't be pleased with that stroke of his Important wicket for Pakistan, 76 for six. Catch it! Just wide of uh, Wakar. Oh! And there's a chance here. The umpire calls for the video. Fielders charging in. Changing the throw. Billion running to the wicket keeper's end. He's gone. Yeah! Obviously, the umpire has decided that the bail was out of its grooves. Yeah! That's good bowling by Mushtaq. Umpire, what's he doing? The square leg umpire is looking to the bowler's end umpire to see if there was an edge. My uh, initial instinct was that Ed O'Branders is stumped. Now, just watch this back foot. It's in the air. Ball goes into the gloves. Now he tries to find his ground. And as the bales come off, the foot is in the air. On your bike, son. And Wazi Makram's got this one above the turf. Umpire Mitchley just looking at the batsman to see if he was going to walk. And eventually Andy Whittle drags himself away from the crease and Pakistan are almost home. Andy Whittle lunging forward to once again a very good looking Mustak leg break just dipping forward taking the outside edge and Akram picking it up very cleanly and easily. So Zimbabwe nine down for 94. Quicker one there, was trying the flipper, didn't really control it, and 100 goes up on the board for Zimbabwe. Two for 28 for this youngster so far. That's gone miles in the air, but he could be out. No. Nelson's on the board now for Zimbabwe. There it is again, out he comes, and heaved it over long off. He's given him. And Pakistan are through to the final. It'll be Pakistan against Sri Lanka. And they were 51 for seven. And look at that last wicket. Umpire Michley signaling his finger heavenwards on your bike, mate. And Wakar Yunus is ecstatic. Pakistan have won. But this will uh, tell you exactly how things went. Pakistan 151 for nine. Mohan Khan played very well. Superb innings for 61 when it mattered. Saklain got 20 there. He had a very good match. 
from uh, the Zimbabwe point of view, streak, 4 for 18, almost his be best figures. He's only ever once done better than that. Madame Banzo, 2 for 27, and Brandis, 2 for 39. So uh, a pretty good performance by them in the field. They are a very competitive outfit when fielding. Zimbabwe then went out to bat, made 119, and for me, they never really looked as if they were going to get up. Andy Flower, 28, he was the danger man. Once he was gone, uh, it looked all over, really, by the shouting. Paul Strang, 26, and Phil Yun made 25 and was a little bit lucky. But the bowlers uh, for Pakistan dominated that innings. Mushtaq, 4 for 27. Wakar, well, have a look at that. What do you say about those figures? 